All right, here we have a glass preform lathe. It's a fully automated glass lathe with torch system and control cabinet and gas distribution system. The lathe itself is a, a Litton EDW or EW202. It has a, about a hundred inch bed length uh, and six feet between the chuck faces. Here's the movable tailstock uh, that you can you can move manually or with the or with the servo drive. Here's the flame carriage. It current, currently has an eight burner hydrogen, hydrogen oxygen torch. And here's the headstock with a three and an eighth inch bore. So both the tailstock and the carriage traverse back and forth. Uh, and there's multiple modes that they can be controlled. You can actually set it where you move these proximity switches and it'll, it'll move in between the switches or you can set it by a distance, how many millimeters you'd like it to go back and forth. So we'll go over here to the control panel and look at some of the functions. Uh, up top you have two Litton lathe controllers. So you can operate most of the functions from these controllers or you can operate some of the traversing features with the, the push buttons and selector switches. Um, so in this band here we can you hit start and we can start the spindle and the carriage independently from each other and then we can adjust the speed of the spindle and then the traversing speed of the carriage and then the tailstock itself you can set to stretch or move in one direction at a, a, a slower preset speed here so we'll go ahead and just move the carriage back and forth uh, the distance that's on the screen here. So here the carriage is going to move back and forth between these limit switches. And we can tighten them up a little bit. And then there's also a feature where we could, it quickly returns to the one position. So go ahead and hit that. All right. Uh, and now we'll show you how to move move the carriage with uh, the controller. So we have it set at 25 millimeters. So it's going to find home right there and now it's going to move back and forth 25 millimeters. Okay, now we'll, we'll operate the, the tailstock. Uh, 
and now the tailstock is traversing back and forth 100 millimeters by using the Litton controller. All right, now we can start the spindle. And that's moving at a slower speed. And you can, we can turn it up to about 60 or 65 RPM. Alright, well that's moving. We'll go over here and look at the, the gas cabinet. Alright, so here's the, the gas cabinet with multiple different inlets for different types of gases and the regulators and this large bank of mass flow controllers. Uh, and down here, this is called the bubbler box. And there are temperature regulated baths down there. The Lauda baths. And then if we look at these controllers, uh, the mass flow controllers, uh, they're for different pressure ranges and then different gases. So there's, there's oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur hexafluoride, germanium tetrachloride, silicone tetrachloride, phosphoryl chloride, boron tribromide. So there's multiple different, has the capability of doing many different gases.